Hi everybody, Jacob here. I have noticed that uh, the video that I have made till now that has had the most views is the unboxing of the GST Extra Large uh, by Chanel. So I will make a, a review on the bag today. Uh, this is how I keep it stored um, in its original huge pouch or dust bag. That's the um, size of it, it's quite big. And here it is. I have worn it now for roughly a week, a bit more than a week. Um, it is very comfortable, uh, soft. Um, it has the gold wear metal legs on the bottom, little toes, what you might call them. <laughs> and um, the gold hardware. handles, straps. So when I store it, I leave them, I keep them on the inside of the bag. Otherwise, they can hang on the outside. Um, now let's get to the measurements of the bag because um, there is not so much information online on the Grand Shopping Tote Extra Large. I will give you the measurements in centimeters. So let's The length is roughly 41 centimeters. So it's 41 centimeters across. Length is 41 centimeters. The height of the bag roughly 26. 26 centimeters. Okay. That's very low. Then we have the width the width at the widest part in the bottom about 14 centimeters and on top it gets tighter it gets to eight and a half or nine centimeters let's see the drop of the handle from here to here Approximately 24, 23 and a half, 24 centimeters. This bag is only available in caviar leather. And this is how grainy it looks close up. And this is how the golden hardware looks. The rings on around the bag have the inscription Chanel Roucambon 31. It could also say Paris, yes. It also says Paris. Here we go. This bag was made in Italy. And the zipper in the middle, oh, where is it? Also is in gold. And we have the double C on one side and the Chanel main logo on the other side. The back of the bag has a big pocket. This pocket is bigger than the one on the regular GST and of course much bigger than the one on the Petite Shopping Tote. The pocket size we could also measure is in length 30 two centimeters and it is at the lowest point 17.5 centimeters so 17.5 centimeters high at the lowest point and around 31 centimeters in width that's that's the bag uh, those are the measurements there is There is oh, visible, is it? a flat pocket here. Oh, there you go. And a bigger one here for your smartphone, mobile phone, or whatever you might want to put inside of it. On the other side uh -huh. is a zipper pocket, 
there, flat one. Now I've heard a lot of information or um, people talking about the uh, golden hardware that in the 90s it was plated in gold, today this is not 24 karat plated gold. I don't, I'm, I've, to be honest with you, I didn't ask, I didn't ask the sales representative to, to tell me about it. I totally forgot. I was so starstruck by this bag that I didn't ask <laughs> all the extra details. But I do have um, quite a bit of um, 90s uh, golden um, uh, accessories by Chanel. And this is how, this is how the gold looked like, basically, in the 90s. So... The bags had the same gold hardware uh, as did this earring, for example, this Chanel earring from 1994. Now, if I put them side by side, just to see, to me it looks like the same exact shade of gold. I know that on a camera with all the light here you can't really notice the difference, but it's pretty much, actually it is the same shade of, of gold. So um, I haven't had in my hands yet a vintage uh, Chanel bag with golden hardware so to compare but uh, hopefully soon I will and I will let you know. This is pretty yellow in my opinion. It's, it's yellow gold. I mean it, it doesn't look pale in comparison to uh, many other um, accessories that Chanel uh, has made of late in like pale gold. Um, I also have a little uh, small bag to compare with this one. Uh, the bag I'm going to show you now is a seasonal flap bag from the fall winter 1314 collection. Uh, also got this one in my Chanel boutique of choice. It's a gorgeous little single flap. The difference with this one is that on the top it has this leather cover through which the chain goes through. This is basically the version, uh, it's as if it were a wallet on a chain, but uh, with this sl slit of um, leather being on the outside instead of on the inside. Now the way I store this, I can do a review on this bag later, but you know, the little um, pouches they give you to clean the bags is how I protect my bags, well the little ones at least. So what I do is I put the chain in one of them and then I put it inside of the bag and I leave another one here so when I close my flap this part doesn't get scratched on the stitchings here. So this is how I would suggest you keep the bag. And then the other one of the pouches has the golden chain. Now this is a seasonal bag. Usually the seasonal bags as of late have um, kind of a used gold look to them and they have a little tiny um, Chanel stamp there. It says Chanel, what does it say? Chanel Paris and a double C. So this is the only bag I have in um, lambskin leather and just for comparison that's how they look side by side. Yes, the black is more intense here because it's less glossy and pebbly and it does look more rich and uh, luxurious. But this one has some, this, this type of leather, the, the caviar leather has a futuristic feel to it. I'm sure that it has a, I don't know, to me it appeals more as a, automatically as an everyday bag because the material just reflects modernity in a different way. This one, of course, to me, it's it's a modern bag because, I mean, I don't wear it cross shoulder. I literally, you know, put it around like this, like a little chain, and I wear it like a like a necklace or an accessory. Um, so I can get into detail about this bag in another video, but this is just for comparison, the two leathers. Yes. All right. So this is the GST Extra Large. I have done some research online. Another one in existence, but I don't know if it's still in production. I think not, is a GST Extra Extra Large, which is kind of like the GST, but, in, but it has the same uh, 
length of the GCX are large, and proportionally then the height would be higher. So it's more of a square kind of a cut. So it resembles like a huge GST. Uh, but that's been a couple of years back. I haven't seen any anybody wear it lately. Um, what else is there to say about the bag? I, yes, okay. You know, wearing it is a bit difficult at times. In fact, on the shoulder, it does kind of fall off and it also tends to get heavy, but you end up wearing it mostly like this or in your, in your, in your hands like this. Uh, the shoulder version, the shoulder kind of carrying of the bag doesn't always work, only if it's heavy enough. So if it's filled at, you know, to a certain point, uh, then um, the weight just kind of sits on the shoulder and it doesn't kind of slide off. If it's too light, if it's not heavy enough, if there's not enough things inside of it, it does tend to kind of just fall off because, you know, the, the chains don't have the right heft. But the chains themselves are very heavy and sturdy. So... Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll get uh, right back uh, with answers to those questions and I can make further videos going more into detail uh, about uh, any sort of other accessory bag or topic. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye.